Hello friends, welcome back to Home Sense with Nell, where I talk about DIYs, home decor, product hauls, and everything relating to making your home your sanctuary on a budget. Today I wanna to share with you this awesome wall hanging that I made from Dollar Tree products. In total, it costs about $5. So come along and see how I did it. So you guys know I love shopping at Dollar Tree. And I'm still furnishing my sewing room and I needed some organization. Uh, so I went to Dollar Tree, of course, to look for supplies. And they actually had quite a nice selection of plastic organizational materials. These wicker look baskets were really nice. They came in several colors, as you can see, but they just weren't quite what I was looking for. But finally, something on the upper shelf did catch my eye. And it was these gorgeous gold wire baskets or trays. I thought these would look great in my sewing room. I wasn't exactly sure what I could put in them. And after I left Dollar Tree, I went over to Target to get a few items and I saw this. So this really inspired me to try to use those gold trays, not for storage bins, but for a wall art. So that's what I decided to do. I already had a few wooden clothespins at home, but I headed back to Dollar Tree quickly just to find some clips to help me clip on pictures and other items onto my um, wall art. These succulent ones were cute. So here I am back in my craft room and I'm just taking a look at the baskets, trying to get some ideas about what I'm gonna do with them. I decided to go ahead and measure them just so I'd have an idea of how large the final project would be. Now originally I had thought about having the flat side of the basket facing the or touching the wall so that the lip of the basket could become like a shelf but I think that that might have not have worked because of the angle of the sides of the basket, so I decided against it. Instead, I decided to have the basket protrude from the wall. I thought it'd make a more secure connection at the bottom. So I was looking around my house for something to use to attach these wires together, and of course, zip ties. We have a big stock of zip ties in the garage. I use them for many different projects. In fact, I'll leave an I card above to show you how I made a wreath with zip ties last fall. But anyway, these things come in handy. I mean, they're so cheap, they're so easy to use. Um, if you get tired of them, you can just remove them. They're kind of hard to remove, but I use a um, box cutter and just kind of saw through them and they come off, no problem. So I went in ahead and attached the baskets together um, about every other square or the spaces in every other square is what I is where I put the zip ties and you know what when I collapsed these baskets to together I realized that this alone would make another awesome craft I don't know exactly what you could do with it but I'm sure some of these awesome crafters on YouTube could figure out something to do with the, that collapsed basket but anyway back to my wall project so I attached all four together.
And once that was done, I went ahead and cut off the tails with a pair of scissors. And then finally my project was done. So I hung it up on the door to my sewing room using some Dollar Tree uh, hooks, the adhesive kind. And I think it looks great, guys. I used the succulent clips to clip some uh, sewing patterns that I'm gonna be working on soon. And I also went ahead and clipped some seed packets just to remind myself that I really need to get those seed packets started, or those seeds started. All in all, I think this DIY project came out pretty cute for a total cost of about $6 in Dollar Tree products. So thanks again for visiting HomeSense with Nell, and I'll see you next time.